Hello there. Welcome to a take in the Philippines. Don't forget to share, like, subscribe, ding dong. Um, we had a little problem yesterday um, with a dog on site, and she had puppies, five of them, the first litter. Now, it's not my dog, um, but there's a, there's a difference in um, culture here. Now, dogs here, a lot of stray dogs, what we'd call stray dogs. But in a way, they're not stray dogs here. A community of uh, a few houses gather these dogs around the community, they're a security system. Nobody owns them, nobody feeds them as such on a regular basis, but the, the people are quite, quite, quite kind to them. They'll, they'll give them food when they've got food. Um, food is very highly valued here, it's in short supply. So obviously the dogs don't get fed a great deal. The scabbage most, mostly. And some are in terrible condition with mange and whatever have you. From a Western perspective, but from a Filipino perspective, that's how it is. And um, no, they're not cruel to animals by any amount of means. In fact, the opposite. If they see a dog hit by a car, which occasionally happens here, everybody stops and everybody's unhappy about it. And they do feed these stray dogs, they'll, they'll throw them a bone or whatever. So we've got this dog on site, it's not my dog, and it was put on the site as security. Um, and it's had pups now. Now female dogs are considered worthless here, because they keep having pups, having litters of pups. Which is a problem. Now. The normal practice here with pups, when they get weaned, they put them on the roadside. And um, there's a chance in a million that somebody will stop and pick one up. But um, there's pups everywhere on the roadside. You see them all the time. So really the pups have a lingering death. The vast majority of them, I imagine. The odd one will survive and uh, grow to adulthood. Um, so this this dog, it bites as well. It doesn't bite me, but it bites strangers. So I was talking yesterday about what to, what they're gonna do with, about this dog, and because we feed it, I feed it. Or oh, mostly. There's other people feed it. Any leftovers, um, it's fed. So, what's going to happen to that dog? I was told, probably, not decisions aren't being taken for certain. She'll raise these pups and then they'll be abandoned on the roadside. Um, and then the dog is probably going to be abandoned as well, away from here. So that's not really how I would like to see things happen. So I had a word with the, the people who owned the dog, or sort of own it. Um, and I suggested that, and decisions have to be made quickly, and I said, well, I'd, I'd put the pups down, but um, I'd want to, want to do it today before their eyes open, and that would solve one half the problem. They didn't like that idea at all. Um, it's abhorrent to them to put the puppies down in that way. Yet, to them, 
it's okay to abandon them at the roadside. I suppose it really, I can see that if you abandon them at the roadside, they have got a, a slight chance of survival. Whereas I would say putting them down today would be the humane thing to do. Not a pleasant job, but I'd be, be prepared to do it. So we talked about it, and um, we've come to a different sort of conclusion. The dog is going to stay here. When I get gates up on, on this fence at the front, we can stop her getting pregnant again, so there's no more puppies. And this little dog I've adopted, that's a female as well, so I don't want her getting pregnant. And if she stays on this site, she's on a chain now, all the time on a chain, because she bites. Anybody she doesn't know, she will bite. So if she stays on this site, it'd be good for me in so much she, she's a good guard dog. And anybody in this, on this site who shouldn't be here once there's a gate on, she bites, that's a good thing. Um, so, the dog is staying with me, so she won't be abandoned, so that's good. Uh, we've still got to resolve the puppies, and I don't want them put down. They'd rather abandon them and give them a chance at the roadside, which is fair enough, I can understand the logic in that. So, what we've agreed is... When the puppies get a bit older, we'll do as best to rehome them, i.e. put them on Facebook. Anybody wants them free to a good home. They smile at me when I said that, because um, nobody wants them. They're everywhere. Puppies are everywhere. They only want them if they're cute looking, so let's hope these are cute looking. But it gives them a chance by putting it on Facebook, a better chance I would suggest than on the roadside. So we'll do as best to rehome them. Now, if we can't rehome them, which we probably can't, then what I've said I'll do is I'll take them down the vet. Now the vet here is, the only vet here is 20 mile away. But I'll take them to the vet and have them put down. Um, so that we've re resolved the issue um, between the two cultures. Um, she's been on this site for two months. So I am, a, I am responsible for her in, in, to a degree. So that, that satisfies me that they'll be human, humanely disposed of if we can't give them away. <clears throat> Might get lucky, might get somebody who take them, take one or two, or you know, if they take, if we can get one rehomed, then it's worth it's worth the effort. So that, that's an interesting um, dilemma, and now the different cultures play differently. How we think differently. I mean, putting puppies d d down yourself it isn't a pleasant job, but it's a humane thing to do from a western perspective but not from an eastern perspective they think that um, and it's a fair argument that if you abandon by, by the roadside they've still got a chance and it's God's will because it's a very religious Catholic country is this as well I'm sure that plays a part so interesting maybe you'll think it's interesting as well so we'll conclude that one, this video, and then we'll start the video as we do every day.